Hey guys, so uh, if you caught my last video or one of my last couple of videos, I had unboxed uh, my latest Beard Struggle order. And one of the things that I received, the main purpose of the order was this mineral beard mask. So the purpose behind this, uh, per the website, is it's basically going to help, you know, uh, super hydrate and rebuild um, the, all the hair uh, in your beard and the follicles. So the same kind of thing, uh, the same kind of treatment that you would give you know, your face if you had some, you know, use some kind of mask, um, or like a super hydrating, uh, mineral rich treatment for your hair. So I don't know really what to expect from it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, after the instructions say to do this like once or, once or twice a week, uh, per, you know, how, what, what you think your beard needs as far as treatment. Uh, so I'm going to use it like twice a week um, because we are getting like cold weather uh, down here in the Texas and um, it is getting kind of cold and windy and kind of dries everything out. So rather than use more product like oil or balm, I'm just going to use this twice a week to see if that helps like hydrating the hairs, hydrating the skin and to see what kind of effect it has. So about two weeks from now, I'll post a more thorough review. But I did want to go ahead and video uh, using this for the very first time. So per the instructions, you're going to apply a medium amount, like not too heavy, but not too light uh, across the entire beard and then leave it on there for 10 or 15 minutes and then rinse it out and, um, and then just apply a little bit of oil and go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. I want to show you this. And the first ingredient, when you read the ingredients, is literally uh, Dead Sea Mineral Mud. So I don't know what's supposed to be so magical about the Dead Sea or the minerals or the mud found in the Dead Sea, but supposedly it's awesome. So I'm not making fun. You know, I've heard that. I know some lots of products are made out of this stuff. But anyway, uh, zoom in here, Pam, and take a look at this. It's literally a muddy uh, stuff. It's also got like shea butter and a bunch of really good oils and stuff like that. So let's get messy, which it is. It feels muddy. So I know when I unboxed this, I did a video of the unboxing. I had somebody comment, and they're like, I wonder if that's going to stain your silver beard. And I don't know, but it did splatter a little bit all over my counter just now. So that's fun. So be careful, it will splatter around a little bit, I guess. But trying to work it in real deep to all the areas underneath, close to the skin, and all the superficial parts. So I've got a pretty dang silver beard, and this is making it pretty, pretty green gray looking. <laughs> so um, I'd say that's about a medium amount. So. Like I said before, uh, as far as the video, I'll be back almost instantaneously, but I'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll see what happens next. Okay, so Matt keeps stumbling over the benefits of Dead Sea Minerals, why you, this is an awesome thing. And I know it's an awesome thing, but I couldn't define it and tell him exactly why it's an awesome thing. So I had to come and Google it. Um, so your Dead Sea Minerals, magnesium, potassium, sodium, calcium, um, these other dogs are about to start barking. Um, these are all awesome for your skin. They're for, they're, it's awesome for um, hydrating everything. It's, they're, it's like magic. Um, uh, uh, it's helpful, hold on, hold on. It's deeply hydrating, cleanse and disinfects, exfoliating, not necessarily something that your beard, your hair needs, but your skin underneath it needs it. I know that using masks is fantastic for your, for hair on your head so it makes sense that it would be fantastic for the hair on your face and exactly what he was saying earlier right now heaters are running um, everything is drier in this area we normally have a lot of moisture in the air it's very humid which is fantastic in some ways but um, not necessarily always but um, using these masks especially um, it during the winter months and all that would be I would think a fantastic thing for beards and beard growth and keeping everything healthy keeping your skin underneath healthy dealing with skin issues all of those things so there's where you go the uh, there's what the uh, Dead Sea Minerals are for
All right, guys. So now that you're more informed uh, by the beautiful Pam about what uh, what the Dead Sea mineral mud is, um, <clears throat> uh, so I let it sit for 15 minutes. Hopped in the shower, rinsed it off, got it out. Here's just off the one application, and literally having just gotten out of the shower, um, you know, a more thorough review will come after a few applications. But one thing that I can tell you, as I was drying it and kind of running my hands through it, everything. Uh, Pam, uh, she says it's already softer. Okay, I can't really tell the difference just yet. Maybe I will after a few more applications. But the thing that surprised me the most was after I dried it, haven't even put any product on yet. Um, just kind of running my hands through it, running a comb through a little bit. I can tell you right now that just after the one application, that the hairs, the beard, it actually feels thicker. So I don't know if that's because now the hairs are like super hydrated, like. You know, they actually brought in a lot more moisture, so it's the hairs are thicker because they're more moisture. I don't know, but it feels like it's a thicker, you know, not like a grooming hair um, in that sense, but it just, it feels like it's a thicker, fuller beard. Okay, so um, whether that's true or not, that's what it feels like. Um, following the directions, you know, after you rinse it off, you know, just go and apply a little bit of oil or balm. So just throw it on my... A little bit to finish up. Yeah, and as I'm running my hands through it again, okay, having gotten out of the shower about 10 minutes ago, it definitely feels thicker. Okay, I don't know exactly what effect it's having, you know, like on the actual individual hairs or at the cellular level, if there's some kind of effect, but I can tell you it feels thicker. So if that's something that you're after, that's definitely at least one of the positive benefits or effects that's gonna come from using this. But so this one a video, the first application, um, like I said, so probably next month after two or three weeks, using it once or twice a week. Um, and we'll see like what kind of change happens over the long term, you know, long term being two or three weeks, four applications or so. I'll give a much more thorough review and, uh, and my opinion on the matter. But, so far, I like it, um, and it's, I think, definitely going to help on these colder months when everything tends to dry out a lot. So, hope it helps.